Juan Soto just got traded to the San Diego Padres for three massive prospects. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I think this kind of shocked everyone today. I don't think anyone was expecting the San Diego Padres to walk out of the trade deadline with Juan Soto in their back pocket, but they did have to give up a lot. So we're going to jump into this trade really quick, talk about who they gave away, and is it really worth it or not? So let's do it. All right, so let's jump into the trade at 8.52 a.m. Today, Jeff Passan pretty much released the trade. So Josh Bell and Juan Soto will be going to the San Diego Padres, and the San Diego Padres are going to be trading left-handed pitcher Mackenzie Gore, outfielder Robert Hassel to third, shortstop C.J. Abrams, outfielder James Wood, right-handed pitcher Arlen Susana, and one more major league player. So this is a massive trade. First player, Mackenzie Gore, has slowed down a little bit, but came out firing, was looking like he was going to be the NL Rookie of the Year. Currently, he's hurt. I think he was dealing with a little, little, little injury, and that's why his performance dipped down a little bit, but he was doing so well. He was sitting like 2.5 ERA, 3.0 ERA for a very long time through about his first 10 starts. So this is a big trade piece here. This is someone that has shown success at the MLB level. Disgusting left-handed pitcher. He's only 23 years old. Next, we have CJ Abrams. CJ Abrams was a top five prospect in baseball. CJ Abrams, he has struggled a little bit this year. And I will say, and I'll show it here, he was really bad when he first came up. When he first came up, he hit about, let's see, let's just see right here. When he first came up, he hit 146. He was terrible. Goes back down to AAA, actually just mashes that AAA. Comes back up, and since he has been back up, he's hitting 274 with a 300 on base percentage. OPS, obviously not huge, but he is doing much better. He's hitting 275. He's a rookie, and he's super young too, 21 years old. I guess I get it. I mean, Fernando Tati should be coming off injury here soon. Maybe... Um, I'm guessing he is going to with how just all in they're going with this trade. So I get why they gave away CJ Abrams because I guess they do have players in those positions. All right. And then let's just pull up the pipeline top 100 really quick. Let's just scroll down. The number 21 prospect in baseball is Robert Hassel. Jumping into Robert Hassel. Absolute stud. Killed it in his first year at 19 years old this year. His 20 year old season. Just doing more of the same. He has been in a little bit of a slump. But at high A, he's hitting 300 with a 380 on base percentage, 850 OPS, 10 home runs, 20 stolen bases. Like, this dude is so legit. In my opinion, Robert Hass will be a top 15 guy next year, maybe even top 10. So, one top five prospect in CJ Abrams and another top 15 at least in Robert Hassel. And let's just keep scrolling. We got to go a little bit farther down for this one. But at 88, we have James Wood. James Wood is a specimen, six foot seven, 240 pounds. So his first year at Pro Ball was last year. He played 26 games, absolutely mashed, just ridiculous. 372 batting average, 465 on base percentage, 1,000 OPS at rookie ball, right? This year, moves up to low way, and he's been better. He's hitting 337 with a 453 on base percentage, 1054 OPS. He has 10 home runs in 50 games. Every five games, he's hitting a home run right now, and he has so much power. This is a player that I think is going to shoot up the prospect rankings after this season, easily into the top 50, in my opinion. Probably pushing the top 50 range, but because he hasn't played that many games, might stay out of it only because of that, in my opinion. He is looking like one of the best offensive bats at low A. They also traded Jarlin Susana, which honestly, I don't know much about, but he's six foot six, 235, just a giant 18 year old kid and he's done solid 2.45 era and i love this 29 and a third innings pitch 44 strikeouts so very impressive they're averaging 13 and a half strikeouts per nine whip under one so absolutely love that just been super good at rookie ball so might be a little sleeper pick there and then obviously we don't know the last player uh still waiting for that to be announced that's literally the only hold up right now the 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 deal is done but yeah crazy trade and I do want to talk just for a second here because this is a sports card channel. I usually don't do these videos. My brother usually does these ones, but he wanted me to do it because of the prospects. So I was like, all right, that's fair. If the Padres can sign Juan Soto in the offseason, I think they won this trade. But I still think it's super close because you're giving away arguably what could be if James Wood just keeps tearing it up, possibly 
three top 20 prospects, maybe even top 15, top 10, depending on their progression. Plus Mackenzie Gore, who was a what, a top 10 prospect at one point. Like you're pretty much giving up just every single person in your farm system worth anything for Juan Soto. And then it really matters how they do in the playoffs, right? If they go out and they don't win a World Series and they don't re-sign Juan Soto, that's a huge loss, like a massive loss because they're going all in right now. Juan Soto is going to be a free agent and he wants a ton of money. And I do think the Padres can pay him. It's just going to be very up in the air, you know, when you're going to be going up against a market with the Dodgers and the Yankees and the Mets, like good luck. So who knows? As of right now, I think it's honestly a pretty even trade. I, I don't think anyone specifically won. I think it really matters after the season what happens to Juan Soto because, like I said, if the Padres can retain Juan Soto, it's Juan Soto. He's arguably the best hitter in baseball. If he can't, then they just gave away everyone in their farm system in their entire future. So, but yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. As always, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think of the Juan Soto trade. Like, Wow, massive names. And we all knew it was going to take massive prospects, but oh my goodness, the Padres gave away everything. So let's see if they can win a World Series. Thank you all for watching. Have a great rest of your day. See ya.